So since I've properly sat down and played Outriders, it has received a few patches. Patches to fix problems which for the most part make the game unplayable and patches to make the game a much better experience. Today I give you guys my opinion on Outriders as it stands right now after coming back, feeling the changes in place, knowing exactly how this game performed pre-patches. When I last played, literally months back. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So I have covered this game from the very very start, I stream the demo literally every day for hours up and end farming the same thing over and over up until the release of this game. We were hyped guys, I won't lie I was seriously looking forward to this game like many of us were. The game then released and it released in what can only be said a shite state. I mean, the major problems were there, but because almost everyone had things to do in regards to the story and farming gear, so we were able to compete in those expeditions, the major problems didn't really appear until everyone or almost everybody was at end game. That's when the problems started taking over. It makes sense in a way as I've seen it happen with other games. And that is, that game's problems become way more apparent when people start to get bored of said games. It isn't an excuse though, because the problems were clearly there from the start. And well it just got worse and worse, with every attempt by People Can Fly to fix these issues, more were created. This went on for some time, and let's not lie to ourselves, it turned many people away, and it turned many people off playing. The game over the past month or so has been considered dead. Not in a sense that no one is playing, but more so in a sense that the game is broke, end game content just isn't enough and its player base is declining faster than you can say, phenomenal ultra microscopic silicon volcanosis. Now of recent things with Outriders have changed, I myself like I said I hadn't played in a long while but was interested to see how these new changes to legendary loot affected the game. So I jumped back in for this reason alone. And well guys, I won't lie to you, the game I come back to is so much different to how I remember it. Now with regards to legendary loot changes, I feel what people can follow have done here is make it almost perfect. It just feels far more rewarding to a point that it's at a stage where it's kind of addicting again. Even for someone like me who's already put in hundreds of hours. So as great as the loot drop changes were, I wouldn't say they are too much where they take away from the game. Now with regards to the way the game feels, for me who stopped playing when the damage mitigation bug was introduced months back, coming back and experiencing the game now, it is literally like night and day. It just feels way more smoother and all stability changes and everything else they have been doing have seriously changed the gameplay for the better. Now I understand people who continue playing since day one probably won't actually feel how different it feels now due to changes being incorporated once to better time. Whereas for me, I've been absent for quite a while, I got a whole host of changes coming back making the game just feel super super smooth. I mean all the creases I remember while playing do seem to be ironed out. Now what I will state is, I did play mostly solo, but even the times I did jump into that multiplayer, the difference feels almost unbelievable. I did feel a little bit of lag while playing with my pal in the US, on his host, but I mean that's to be expected, but I didn't get kicked once, didn't get dashboarded, didn't lose connection to host or anything like that. So honestly, I feel this game has improved massively to what it was. Now jumping back in, I was aware that things had been added in regards to settings to do with console controller option. I did have to change mine because it was definitely more sensitive. I play on the Xbox Series X and it just felt super weird jumping back on. My sensitivity felt like it doubled, but I went into my settings, dropped it down a little and it felt perfect again. And well, because I'm an Xbox, like most people, I had the dreaded signing in problems. Even on the Series X, you still had the dreaded signing in problems. Now although it isn't the quickest to sign in right now, it's still much much quicker than I remember it being. 
Now with all of this and the way the game feels right now, it's truly a shame that most people have had their enjoyment from the game, but it's left a sour taste within their mouths due to the problems that persisted for so long at a time it seemed people can fly didn't really care about the state of the game. The game right now isn't that game and I honestly wish I hadn't already done almost everything the game offers because I'd love to have done it within this state. Now what I will say is the game right now feels like it's almost ready for that extra content. Content we do know is coming. When that is though we have no clue right now but it's needed and when it comes I feel we will have a blast and the game is ready for it. I've said for a long time that Outriders needs new things to do but it would be stupid to add new things into a game that is utterly broke and it was. From my experience from this past week the game is now in a good enough spot for that new content. But hey guys, this is just my experience and my opinion. If you followed Outriders on my channel, you will know I always talk the truth about it. If there's problems there, there's problems there. I mean, I covered this daily as you guys know, but when that damage mitigation bug was introduced, along with the many other problems the game had, I almost stopped streaming on the spot and more or less cut back on all the Outriders content I was doing. But guys, if I'm honest, that might change, but we will see. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.